Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yes, it is Friday. All day long, y'all. All day long. All right, let me let this one down a little bit because you know your girl get a little hot. All right. Huh. If you have not become a, a subscriber, <clears throat> please go ahead and do so at this time. Become one, one of our sub puppies, y'all, okay? All right. Okay, I'm a little hot this morning, so y'all got to bear with me. Good God, I'm like, you know, women go through them changes, you know what I'm saying? I done been through the change, but every now and then, you get a little hot flash. But anyway, so here's the story, y'all. All right, here we go. Um... So about a, a couple of months ago, I have so many stories, y'all. I'm just now getting around to them. So about a month or so ago, I got a call from a guy to come pick him up. And he, he was at a uh, feed store, okay? I guess a feed store. You had to be in. Uh, where they get, like, fertilizer and all that stuff. So anyhow, <clears throat> Jesus, this smell is on point, y'all. Hey! Anyway, so... I got a call to pick up this gentleman at the feed store. So when I got there, y'all, he had a box in his hand with a flat, like looked like a plant hanging out of it. And he like he was just struggling and he had some fertilizer, like some fertilizer, something for a yard, you know, a big old bag or something. So anyway, so I pulled up, popped the trunk. I said, he gonna need some help. So what I did was I popped the trunk and um, I said, how you doing, sir? Good afternoon. He said, I'm doing fine. Now, this was on a Sunday now. Supposed to be at church. Wasn't at church. Y'all forgive me. God, please. I would still like to go to heaven. Anyway, <laughs> he said, um, and, and when I got back there to the trunk, I put the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, soil, the soil in form. The, uh, looks like, I don't know what. A, anyway, I put the bag in for him like he was struggling. And then he had the box and he was going to put it in the trunk. Then I heard this thing go, beep, beep. I said, sir, you finna put that in the trunk? I said, what is that? He said, yeah, uh, I bought a chicken. I said, what? I said, well, how about you put that chicken in the back seat? Which we don't want to close him up in the trunk. And so he put him back there in the back seat along with the plant. And we got the driving and I got the smelling some. I said, uh, excuse me, sir. Um... Your chicken, do he smoke weed? And then he was like, oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> he said, no, ma'am. Uh, I bought a, a, a weed plant. I said, well. He said, I'm going to uh, plant it when I get to my grandma, when I get at my grandmama's house. You're going to plant you a weed plant at your grandmama's house? You living with your grandmama? And y'all, he sounded like he was just so stoned out. He really was. But then I kept driving. I kept looking in the rear view mirror. And I said to myself, what is he doing? And he had the chicken kind of like turned upside down a little bit. Like he might have been giving it compressions or mouth to mouth or something. And so I looked. I said, sir, is your chicken okay? <laughs> is your chicken okay? He said, yeah, I think he's a little car sick. He said, can we let the window down? I said, sure. So, y'all, we was riding with the window down back there in the back with the chicken kind of hanging out the window. And he was just beat, 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 beat. I mean, it was just, huh. So, anyhow. That's where the story chicken and weed came from this morning, okay? So, <clears throat> now don't y'all go and get y'all no chicken and no weed this morning, even though there are a lot of my passengers. At first, when the first when the pandemic, pandemic first hit, I had a lot of calls, believe it or not, for the dispensary and also for the, uh, the liquor house, or what do you call it, wines and spirits. And so, uh, trust you me. It happens, okay? No judgment here. Do what you got to do to get yourself together, you know, because uh, we all got habits. But anyway, with that being said, I love you guys. Today is Friday. I hope y'all have a blessed, blessed weekend. Remember, you're only entitled to one phone call, so don't go get yourself in no trouble because Sharon can't help you. All right, then. All right, y'all have a blessed week, a blessed weekend. Peace.